very, very interesting book called The Bone Collector. The scenes were put together, written by a young writer called Jeremy Iacone, who, who did a terrific job. The book and the screen, Billy O'Donoghue, played by Angelina Jolie. It was a story. It was just one of the first scripts in a long time that I couldn't put down. When I read it, I was really into it. I was really into it. Um, and I wanted to know what was going to happen next, and I thought that was, you know, I liked it. And I couldn't forget it. Um, and it scared me to death in my apartment by myself when I read it. A little uneasy about doing some real police work. I think it was the best connection I've ever had to anybody on a film because, because of just simply that. There was just a stillness and an honesty that had to be there. Um, and so much had to be communicated from here and inside than, uh, than actions or touching or, and you couldn't turn away. When they blow the hole, I want Donahue to go in first. All right, you got it. Michael Bregman came to me with the eye and he showed me a tape that she did called Gia. And I found her performance extraordinary. I then looked at something else that she did. It was the George Wallace story. Again, very different and extraordinary performance. The same material, we were anxious to meet with her, and we did. Um, or, you know, and, and a st straight relationship type scenes. She's just very, very... Um of Disneyland for me and I can run through and get on every run I've got just I can't even believe that that I'm part of this and, and that there are people you know we've got these streets blocked off and we're getting in there and we've got and, we're, and I'm racing up in this car 70 miles an hour and running out and we're getting suited up in gear and there's a SWAT team and we're breaking through things and blowing manhole covers and and it's like it's huge and you know, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm in it, and I can't, I'm just blown away. Do anything. You are totally dependent. That's torture in a, in a... That's a woman's face. Different cops. Um, I read different... Black suitcase and bring it over here, please. Well, that's a brown envelope. Terrain and settings of the movie, you have a dark, a wonderful, and uplifting relationship. So as much as darkness is important in this movie, so is light. Um, and there's there's one on the uh, 21st floor, and then uh, and I just started laughing. He's like, oh, "Come on!" He said, no. "And there's one on the uh, the 60th floor there." And I th I really thought he was kidding. I thought, you know, I knew he was out of his mind, but not to that. Extent. And there's there's one on the uh, 21st floor, and then uh, and I just started laughing. He's like, oh, "Come on!" He said, no. "And there's one on the uh, the 60th floor." Uh, yeah, but he's great. He's just great. He kind of has a bigger picture. The, or the, rather, the entire picture in mind um, and kind of covers all the bases in a way. And it's really just a great crew that's around him. I mean, he's got an excellent cinematographer and, and cameraman who are making it look exactly how it needs to look for it to, uh, you know, keep its intensity and move. It really moves. I like Philippe's.